Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week is going to be a really quick tech tip and you can see that there are actually German subtitles that have been generated by the PowerPoint. So if you're interested in finding out how to turn on your subtitles for your PowerPoint presentations, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this video is a really quick one this week. It's to help us with accessibility in terms of our presentations and our talks. And so if you're regularly giving presentations to different groups of people that speak different languages, then you might want to consider turning on your subtitles. So if you actually go to slideshow on any PowerPoint, and you can see always use subtitles for me is actually turned on. And then if we go to subtitle settings, I'm just going to move myself out of the way. So if we go to subtitle settings. You've got spoken language. I've said it's English with an Australian accent. And then the subtitle language, I just put German as uh, default. And then once you have that on, you're going to actually then go into presentation mode and you may get a pop up window that says allow your microphone to be accessible to PowerPoint. So you just allow that. But let's have a little test now to see what that looks like. OK, so let's see how the German translation tool works in terms of PowerPoint. And I've selected German as the output language. And so if you do speak German, please let me know how good the translation is. Uh, I've heard that the translation generated is, is not too bad and quite accurate. And when I start off my workshops, I always ask everyone to make a big tent card using the white A4 piece of paper. Write down the name that you would like us to call you in really big letters using the big permanent thick marker and try to be as creative as you like. And so I just wanted to quickly show you this tech tip for generating auto subtitles in any presentation. And I think that that really is a wonderful benefit if you're giving presentations to a diverse crowd or if you're visiting different countries. For example, if you're going to China, uh, we can actually generate simplified Chinese. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I really hope to see you next time.